Hi guys, it's Christine Ibarra. Um, what am I? Oh geez, okay. Well, I just wanted to hop on really quick and tell you guys that my backdrop is about to fall over because, oh my gosh, because <laughs> I need to fix it. <laughs> okay, so let me share this really quick while I wait for some people to hop on. I am going to show you guys a foundation color matching trick because um, a lot of you guys have gotten in some samples yesterday from me and um, hold on can't multitask can't I want to make sure that you get the right shade match can't multitask page and click okay so check this out when you get your samples from me so the first wave of samples went out and everybody should have received them yesterday so if I messaged you and said that I sent out those samples um hey Laura a couple uh, like last week you should have gotten them yesterday now if you are in my second batch of huge samples which I have like 12 or 13 to mail out today, which is what I'm getting ready to go to the post office right now. Um, then you should be getting those in a couple of days too, sometime next week. And I will message you directly to let you know that I mailed your samples. Now, when you get your foundation, what I want you to do is please, hi Amy, please do not use that foundation on your hand or your wrist. Okay? Because this right here is totally separate from your face and is not does not say what color your face is okay so let me put um I always get these I need to have like change these labels big time I need to be like primer label maker finishing spray Rudy stop yelling please primer Doo -doo. I'm not doing anything fancy today you guys but I do want to show you that um, that trick okay I am going to experiment with mixing two shades though what baby what's the matter honey Okay, so normally I've been wearing Shinto One on my face, and it is for light yellow undertones. However, sometimes I feel like it matches perfectly, and sometimes I feel like it's a little bit too yellow. So I'm gonna try mixing it with, um, what is this, Gina Beige. This is a light pink undertone. So I'm gonna mix that together today and see if I can get like tone down the yellow undertones a little bit but I want to show you this we're going to put the foundation like this you want to put that foundation on your face to see what the color is okay so I'm thinking I'm thinking like I am right in between these two that's why I was kind of wanting to mix them So I'm going to scrape out a little bit of each and put it on my hand. Does not take very much. Especially if I'm mixing them, I got to be careful not to go overboard. I have my damp blending bud. So I'm just going to mix these colors together and then I'll put it on my face and blend with my uh, blender full. I've already primed. Now the other day I mixed my foundation with the um, uh, One Drop Wonder and I used three drops and you guys I think I used too much because on a Texas humid day it was a little bit too oily and honestly I just forgot to put it on my hand because I'm already mixing stuff. So next time I'm gonna try just one drop. 
I think that'll cover it. The drops are pretty big. Okay, so let's blend. I should invite some people. Oh, hey, Alex. Hey, Kendall. I'm just being fast. I want to get these samples in the mail. Yeah, I think I'm digging the mixture of these two colors. Maybe, I don't know, I, I ordered all of one. Maybe that will be my color because that's for neutral, light neutral undertones. I don't know, honestly, we could all get away with wearing like three different shades. So it's just fun for me to experiment. I'm just gonna do a little bit of something so that I can walk into the post office and not feel like a troll, you know what I'm saying? This foundation covers so good. Now this is a wax-based foundation, um, so it sits on top of your skin and doesn't absorb into your pores. It also doesn't, if you have dry skin, oh yeah, Kendall, you should try this stuff. Um, if you have dry skin, it won't collect in your dry patches. So like with my other liquid foundation, I can wear it on days that I had dry skin because some days I get dry. My skin's moody. It would like collect underneath the dry patches and make my dry skin show up. You guys, I'm digging this color combo. So I mixed Gina Beige and Shinto One. Hey, Courtney. Loving it. I, I, I know the concealer is waterproof and some people use the concealer as a foundation, especially if they're like out in the heat all day or if they're a mermaid. <laughs> so you might want to try um, using the concealer for when you're in the pool and stuff like all over your face um, and the setting spray but you might already have a setting spray though thanks Monica okay um, I'm not going to do any eyeshadow so I really need to I ordered concealer zero yesterday I really need to get some concealer under my eyes here. Probably zero would be better than two, but I like this one too. I'm just gonna use a concealer brush, and then after I do this, I'm gonna set it with powder. I always say, you guys, I always say I'm gonna do something like super quick, minimal, and then I'm like, oh, and then I need to do this. Oh, and then this would look so good. And I have a hair in my eye. I promise, look, you guys, I'm just, I have to clean my house today. Hey, girl. Do, do, do. My baby's birthday party is tomorrow. I have some Pinterest momming to do today. So, excuse me if I don't answer your messages right away. I have to like be creative today. Let me blend this a little bit. I need to like, we're doing Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, so I need to like print some stuff and get all, get all Pinterest. Okay. Um, okay, setting powder and then bronzer. La, perfect pressed powder. Yeah, I am loving, I kind of want to use a blending bud under my eyes. I like the way that looks. Um, I'm loving this color combo. Gina Beige and Shinto One. 
some days, like I said, some days I'd be like, oh yeah, this color is perfect. And then other days I'd be like, mm, my neck looks a little bit lighter. So make sure you feel like your face comes really close to your neck. That's the trick. Can't forget to chisel out the cheekbones. Nothing fancy, but you gotta contour. That way when you're cleaning your house and you walk by your mirror, you're like, hey, I see you. Okay. Hmm, hmm, oh, all my other blending buds are up there and I don't feel like getting them. So let's just do this. I hope that post office lady is there today because she wanted me to order her two enduring lip colors and I've been going in and she hasn't been there and I'm like hello I got your lipsticks lady okay so I want to just do some mascara And I'm not even gonna do my brows. Should I do my brows? Is this good makeup for people's sensitive skin? Yes, ma'am, it sure is. And we have some really good skincare for rosacea. Um, Heather, I need to send you some samples so you can try it on your skin. I know you're super sensitive. Um, and there's also a 30 day money back guarantee. 30 days. Yeah, 30 days. Courtney, you want me to spend all my money? <laughs> um, I have heard really good things, Courtney. Um, and you know what? I have your sample right here in this bag that I'm going to go mail right now. And I put some Calm Balm in there, which is Calm Balm and Dream Clean. Um, we talked about this too. They're really good for people who have um, acne and sensitive skin because the first ingredient in the cleanser and the moisturizer is aloe. And aloe is an anti-inflammatory. So that's why they call it Calm Balm because it calms down the irritated skin. So hopefully you get some relief from that. I know I have. Um, and the other thing I learned too, we have a product, it's called Sotox. And it has like soji mushrooms in it. And it the purpose of the Sotox is to lighten dark spots, tighten the skin, and brighten the skin. So I was putting that all over my face, but guess what? You're not supposed to do that if you have acne prone skin. So for a couple of days I was like breaking out, like what's going on with my hormones, you know? But then I watched some some videos and they were talking about how if you have acne prone skin, you shouldn't put it all over your face because it could make you break out. You should just put it under your eyes, you know, like in this area for your under eye area. So I stopped using that all over my face and started using Calm Balm and I saw a huge difference. Huge. Okay, let's get some on the bottom. Yes, Dream Clean, I love it. Whoa. Yeah, I just want to like not look like a troll when I go into the post office today. Like, hey, I sell makeup, but I look like I just rolled out of bed. What's up? Thank you, Heather. You're so sweet.
Well, I see messages in the corner of my eye. I will get to y'all ASAP. I love this mascara. It's so easy, there's no flaking. I loved my old mascara, but I felt like no matter how much gel I put on, I would have fibers under my eyes throughout the day. I don't know if that was just with the last, I think it was more with just the last formula. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Got a little mascara on the tube. Okay. Um... Do I want to do some eyeliner? You guys, I have to stop. See, I get carried away because this makeup is so fun. What did I do with my lip pencil? I'm just going to do a nude lip. Should I or should I do one of these colors? You know what? I have not tried this Grace lip gloss. Heather, I don't have samples of the mascara. But like I said, you do have a 30 day um, guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can just let me know, boo boo. And I got you. And the mascara is cheaper than the last one I had. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on and then the glass. This is, I don't know, or maybe I'll do this by itself. I love it so much. My face is very warm. My lips are dark. So that's why I always like to tone everything down. So I love this nude lip. Love, love, love it. I feel like I should do something to my brows. Can't stop, won't stop. Do you think I should put this gloss on? Just need a little bit of shape. Nothing special. Just a little something, you know? Thank you. I love this lip color too. So the, this one is the light nude and then um, it's O2 light nude. And then there's another one that's O1 dark nude. And it has, it's just a little bit darker and I really want to try that one too. more color on my paintbrush. Let's draw some happy brows. Oh, we're getting a little crazy. Okay, we'll clean it up. Getting a little cray.
Yeah, this one's a little thicker. to do and we're done that's okay they're cousins right they're cousins um yeah so hey guys that I think I'm gonna leave it at that I really love this nude I don't even want to put a gloss on I love it so much mm -mm, I'm not gonna do it later I'll do it later okay guys so that's it that wraps it up for my foundation trick um, if you need help figuring out your color, let me know. I'm off to the post office to send out this huge batch of samples. I'm so excited for you guys to get this in your hands. If you have any questions, please let me know. And um, y'all, seriously, if you're interested in this business opportunity, I'm telling you, I just surpassed my last month's paycheck and it's only the ninth, right? It's the ninth today, yes. If y'all are interested, shoot me a message right now and I will hook you up. Okay, so I will talk to you later. You guys have a fantastic Friday and I will talk to you later. Bye.